Hi, Cancer. Getting ready to do your reading. All right. I was going to start with the Oracle Love Cards and just see kind of the overall energy. I don't necessarily go by these specifically, but I just like the energy. Okay, for Cancer, what do they need to know? This could be the one. And express your love, or it could be them expressing their love. They may be coming up to you, talking to you. Um, or this is the person that you're already dealing with. You may want to know how they're thinking about you, what they're thinking or feeling about you. And don't stop. All right. Let's see what's going on with this person. Okay. You flip those over. I don't know why they're facing the wrong way. That was weird. All right. Cancer. All right, so overall energy is page of coins, so communication could be from an earth sign. What's on your mind is seven of cups. Okay, so you seem kind of confused. It might be a Pisces, but it's like you don't know how they're feeling. In the past, nine of swords, chariot. So that it could be that they are leaving or coming towards you. It could be traveling. Whenever you get chariot, usually you get the page of swords, though, too. It could mean that they're driving by your house or your work, you know, kind of the spy car, because someone is thinking a lot, they're worried a lot. Um, yeah, missing you, Five of Cups. Wanting to talk to you. Yeah, I knew it. I knew this person's spying a lot. And if they live around you, they are driving by your house or your work. And not a bad way. Nothing too creepy is what I'm getting. But, um, let me move these. Now, they could be, obviously, this is somebody that you already know. This is what they're thinking about you. I get that they want to be with you with the four of wands like like badly but they are not going to say anything or express their love though they might because this card said that they will right I feel like they're at their breaking point for some reason in this reading I don't know why I feel like they are like at that point of like letting their guard down saying something finally because you've been confused but look at you're waiting like you don't want to make the first move so it's kind of like a standoff maybe that's what I'm feeling like you've been making them wait. You weren't going to do anything. You're making them do something first. But yeah, at the same time, you're confused. You're wondering what's going on. But you're kind of ignoring them. You could be showing showing online that you're happy. Or maybe you're going out and you're dating other people. This may be making them kind of crazy, you know, like jealous. Yeah, they have feelings, very strong feelings for you. I can feel this person. Like, it's like... How do I say it? I guess the only word that really comes to mind is like, kind of like you're making them crazy. You may not be realizing you're doing this, but you're kind of like calm and collected. Even though you are wondering about this person, you're just kind of like waiting and you're not really like putting it all out there. Uh, they see you as being really happy. See, they think being with you is the best thing. Like this would make them happy with the sun. If you guys were already together, they're thinking back about the memories for some of you I'm picking up right now that you do you're around this person though you may see them at work or the gym or someplace like that but they're very like calm the page of coin to me is communication about like boring things sometimes about like the news the weather like if you don't really want to put yourself out there or talk about anything like too intimate or important you just talk about those kind of things but yet what they really want is either to get back together with you, but they're not revealing it, or they want to get together with you with the Four of Wands. Like if this person goes home and thinks about you and cry, oh, I don't know if they cry, but cry, yeah, they may cry. They came out, so they may cry. Like they really regret what's happened, but they're not really saying anything or showing anything. And again, maybe they're even the Nine of Cups. Maybe they're trying to act like they don't care, that they're happy. But I get like it's... It's you, for some reason. Yeah, there's a new beginning here. Somebody wants a new beginning. And again, this definitely could be you, but I get that you are not going to make a move. You want them to do something. They need to do something. I think in the past you have been the person to say something first or do something first, and you decided this time around you're not going to. Yeah, there's definitely passion between the two of you. Now, for some of you, this could be someone like you work around and you guys have never dated, but they're just being really shy. Because I've seen attraction here, but yet they're shy. Yeah. 
Look at what's in this person's energy. Five of cups, ace of cups, you're here, the two of cups is here. But yet, why aren't they saying anything? Why aren't they coming forward? Under the, under the deck is the four swords. Why aren't they making a move? I mean, the four swords could be you waiting, but still, it's like you're ready, you're waiting, you know something's up, your intuition is, you know, telling you, you can feel it, you know it, but yet, why aren't they doing anything? What is the sun energy? But yet, they may be coming across as a player, they could be a fire sign. They could be young. This could also mean someone who's kind of immature or just not really experienced when it comes to love. Um, they don't know the right things to say or do. Maybe they're shy. Maybe they're a little awkward. They may have approached you before and like said something that like, they embarrassed themselves or they didn't like say the right thing. They may be regretting that. So maybe they don't want to embarrass themselves again. That's what I'm kind of getting. They could have been maybe like out in a group atmosphere, like a group party or, you know, office party. And maybe there was some drinking, maybe there was some flirting, but they didn't do it very well or something. I mean, it could be a lot of different things, but what is the Knight of Wands? Why are they came kind of the Knight of Wands? Okay, so you may be giving up on them. So you may be thinking this person's a player. I'm just going to walk away. I don't have time to wait for this person. But it looks to me like you've been waiting and wondering, what is the moon? Moving forward to relationship. Okay. They could be an earth sign. I did get earth here, or you work with them. Or they seem very grounded and practical. It's kind of what also, maybe they talked about being in a relationship, or, you know, they seemed like they were really practical, and, you know, they liked to be with, like, with just one person. But again, maybe they started dating other people with the Three of Cups. It almost seemed this person tried to come across as, like, someone who everyone likes them, and they're a flirt, and they're a catch. So they brought someone else to the office party and instead of like impressing you, that just really turned you off. You're like, you know what, this person, it's, you know what, they're not what I thought they were. I feel like this person really screwed up, but yet they have strong feelings for you. I don't think they meant to. I don't think they cheated on you. I don't get you guys are really even dating that much, but they, I mean, that could have happened, but what is the Eight of Cups? Oops, I pulled a whole bunch. So I will take them. Okay, so if you walk away, like if you say, you know, forget it, I'm not going to wait for this, they will come back. They will come after you. Communication, asking you out, finally getting what you want. Six of coins is my date card because that's like someone go out and buying drinks, dinner, you know, coffee, whatever. So you actually will get what you want by just like saying, I'm going to walk away. I get this person is not what they appear. I feel like they're kind of awkward when it comes to love or you make them feel really awkward. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, they may have... They may not have a lot of like dating experience because they may not be an earth sign. They just may be someone again who has been very focused on their career and money. And so now you have really kind of caught them off guard. So again, I do get kind of get like awkwardness here. But now let's go back to their energy because this is to me is so important. I pulled these cards for their thoughts and feelings. This is their energy. Not only do they have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups with them, but you are here. They are thinking of you. What's on your mind, though, is that this person seemed to want a relationship, but yet now what, they're dating other people or they're doing, you know, Three of Cups um, or maybe you're waiting for them to take you out on a date because Three of Cups can be a date card to me, but they never did. So you waited and waited and waited, but it is showing me you will get what you want with this person finally. Because like they had your hopes up is kind of what I'm getting here, but then they were like, they didn't follow through. They, they came across as a player and so you walked away, but... That's not who they are. So this is actually kind of like good news. Hmm. All right. So let me go back to these cards. It says don't stop. Yeah. So don't, I guess like don't wait. Just like, again, eight of cups what's, is what brings them back in. So by walking away, you bring them back in. And again, this could be the one express your love. So I get that they will express how they feel sooner or later. And even though that's just asking you out. I'm trying to feel because the card says express love, but yet that's walking away. So I'm trying to feel if they're like telling me to do something different. I may extend this one for you. If this resonates, this person, if you feel like this is somebody that you are dealing with right now, I think I'll extend this one and go into their energy and see maybe why they're thinking this way or feeling this way, how they feel about you. I'm going to pull one of these cards for advice though. Okay, engagement ring. God. 
this person is into you. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. This is crazy. Because I can see what I'm seeing in this reading. This person really likes you. They really want to be with you. They think about you. Probably a past life soulmate. I feel like this connection on their side is really, really strong. You make them happy. They see this as a relationship that could grow. But yet they're awkward for some reason. Something is wrong. Maybe you do need to express some type of feeling to get them sparked and get them going. We'll see an extended. But I see a new beginning with this person either way, but you are having to wait. They might be a Pisces or a Sagittarius. I really don't feel that. I feel like, I don't know. I'm feeling like they could definitely, they could be, they could be anything. I'm not really picking up anything strong. I'm getting, they could be an earth sign. Yeah. Or I feel like it might be another water sign like you, but, um, and this person's in touch with their emotions. They just, right now, like they just have a hard time showing you how they feel or saying things. They get very awkward around you. They may get shy. Um, you may end up being engaged, married, or, you know, in a committed relationship with this person, no doubt. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. I'm going to extend this one to see this person's energy. I'm going to use a different deck, I think, and go into their energy and see maybe what they're thinking and feeling about you. Again, I see they're going to come towards you. Maybe you can see why it's taking so long, if there's anything you need to do, where this is headed, how you feel about this person overall in the future. I'll, I'll explore that. So I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.